it's Ina here in the Alps in a little ski village called Torgon, T-O-R-G-O-N. Um, a lot of you had written on my Facebook page that I should make a video up here and show everyone around. The problem is, is it is such a huge snowstorm. You can't see, um, I'm telling you literally, you can't see across, like, you can't see a uh, hundred meters from here. So I've been waiting for it to kind of clear up so that I can kind of show you guys a little bit what it looks like outside, but the visibility is zero and you can't see, barely see the mountains. You can barely see across the way here. I did, was able to film a little bit before from the other side of the apartment. So you can kind of have an idea what it looks like on there, but now the snow is coming down. It's, it's literally snowing sideways. Right now, the ski lifts are closed. If you can imagine, they were setting off dynamite this morning to cause um, safe avalanches, uh, meaning trying to cause avalanches that were controlled so that they wouldn't come to create, uh, obviously, dangerous avalanches. So it's been a little bit crazy. The snowflakes are like this big, and um, but it's, it's really beautiful. But what's weird is we're under a shutdown, the um, lockdown, Switzerland is now under lockdown. So like the restaurants are closed, the ski lifts are not running. I think the ski lifts will reopen tomorrow, I think. I'm not sure why they're not running right now, I guess, because of the snowstorm, I'm not sure. But um, so the ski lifts are not running, it's completely silent, snowing like crazy, and um, yeah. So I'm gonna film a little bit out there in a minute. Um, I'm stuck here because Bettina went to go visit some friends and go look at a property and I was supposed to go with her, but I'm still like half on crutches. Like I can kind of walk, but I can't completely walk. So I was like, that's the stupidest idea I can think of to try to get out and walk in this. Well, I'm going to show you in a minute. Like there's no way I would be able to walk. So I'm, I'm, I don't want to say I'm stuck here. I love it here. Um, in this apartment. Um, but I'm not going to be able to go do all those fun things. So I'm going to sit and watch TV and make a video for you guys and chill out here and maybe get some dinner ready. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing here. This apartment is actually not ours. It's my in-laws, but they're super nice and we're able to borrow it whenever we want. So we come here quite a bit. So now I'm going to show you a little bit of the view from the other side so you can have a little bit of idea of kind of where we are and what it looks like. And then I'm going to do a little, make a little drink with you guys on the balcony. Okay, stay tuned. Here's a view of lovely snowy Alps. We are in a little ski village called Torgon, T-O-R-G-O-N. I'm in, in the French part of Switzerland. So this is where the view from one side of uh, the little apartment. It's got a cute little shop down there. Of course, the other little um, ski chalets and houses. On the other side there, so this is where we are from one side of the apartment. Okay, so now I'm back here uh, sitting on the back balcony. And as you can see, you can't see anything. It's snowing. I don't know if you can see the snow. It's snowing like crazy. So you can't see. Normally when it's not this snowy, there's actually, you can see the big tree here. There are big, huge trees on the other side here. You can't even, you can't see. But all back, all back here, it's all, you can't see it from here. Um, there's a ski lift here that's not running at the moment. And normally, if it wasn't snowing sideways, you would be able to see really beautiful like the mountains and stuff, but it's just, it's too overcast. But speaking of overcast, since there's no sun, obviously no sun here, um, I was thinking about making some kind of a drink to kind of revitalize myself. Um, and as we all know, vitamin D is known as a sunshine vitamin. Why is it known as a sunshine vitamin? Because the best source of vitamin D is obviously the sun. Just being out in the sun and getting the sun trees is the best way you can get vitamin D into your body. If you can't get sun, <laughs> there's vitamins and supplements and everything, but you know, you can get a very good source of vitamin D is good old fashioned orange juice. Now check it because um, this one is uh, actually fortified with vitamin D. So this one has vitamin D in it, but as everyone knows, orange juice also is a very good source of vitamin C, which is super for your immune system. So now during the cold season, you want to make sure that you're getting enough vitamin C to help your immune system. And you also want to make sure that you're getting enough vitamin D, the sunshine um, vitamin, since there's not so much sun. So to make this drink, you need to put a bit of orange juice, make sure it has vitamin D and vitamin C in your orange juice. Put a little bit of that in your glass, and then I hold standby, fill her up with some Prosecco. Now you might notice 
<laughs> bottle is empty now. I have no idea what happened to all that Prosecco. But um, yeah, there you have your nice little wintertime drink, also known as a mimosa. But cheers to this beautiful, beautiful snowy mountain, not being able to leave this apartment and enjoying the silence. Cheers.